Good day, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha, the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy, and this is your weekly reading for August 7th to the 13th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Uh, I hope you're all doing well, and uh, I hope this uh, reading here uh, resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Queen of Clubs. Five of Spades. Six of Spades. And the Four of Hearts. I think a few other people have gotten the four of hearts. Yeah, they have. There's been a few. Okay, so this week you need to re you need to retreat and refocus throughout the whole week. Um, you're probably doing a lot of stuff, and it looks like some past thoughts are are being brought up. <clears throat> they're overwhelming you, and they're going to cause disappointment and emotional unstableness. It's time for you when when stuff gets to be too. You need to back off. You need to back off. You need time to yourself, you need to heal, you need to do whatever it is that makes you relaxed, uh, comfortable, mindful, you know, a bubble bath or, or whatever. Whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you feel good. Uh, that is, the, you might have to do it a few, quite a few times throughout the week. Uh, looks like the week's just going to be a little bumpy and yeah you need you need this you need to take time out to heal uh, every once in a while at the beginning of the week uh, you need to power up you need to speak your truth you need to not isolate even though you need to heal see now this is where it's gonna be like a juggling act you do need to heal you do need to isolate to an extent but you need to get right back out there the moment you heal you need to get right back out there power up speak your truth do not isolate and uh, yeah, because everything is green lit. Everything that you want to do is absolutely and completely green lit. And uh, you need to get out there and really go for it, you know, uh, and not just like not, you know, isolate too much. Like, don't fall into this. You need to heal and whatnot, but don't fall so far into it that you completely isolate and miss out on this opportunity uh, to power up. Uh, any ideas or projects or anything like that you who have in mind is a go, but you can't you can't give in, uh, and that's that's why I'm saying you need to take time out throughout the week and give yourself a moment so that this overwhelmed feeling and stuff doesn't become so bad that you over isolate, you know, and then you miss out on this opportunity here because you over isolated because you didn't step back every once in a while to take your own breaks you know you kept pushing yourself too much so don't do that this week don't push yourself so much but also get out there and speak your truth because everything's green lit for you uh in the middle of the week uh there's a warning uh somebody's betraying somebody this can be you betraying somebody or this can be somebody betraying you uh but either way somebody's betraying somebody and it's going to lead to a breakup but the uh, cards say it's time. It's time for a change. This is, it's meant to happen. It's uh, this has to happen. I think that uh, letting this go and letting this breakup happen is possibly going to help you uh, with this overwhelmed, disappointing feeling and whatnot, which you need to get rid of because at this point in time, you need to be speaking your truth this week, you know. And you don't need this. You don't need betrayal and stuff coming in the way of uh you speaking your truth and getting what you want out of life and what you deserve out of life you know uh at the end of the week it looks like you might be traveling uh if not then you need to travel uh you need to move on it's moving on with your life uh this could be you traveling to new york to california or this could be you traveling from your town to the town next over or this could be you traveling away from one job to another job it can be that kind of stuff too uh or one relationship to another relationship it can really be anything 
but you need to travel somehow, some way. You need to do some kind of traveling uh, because it's going to help you. It's going to help you with your your peace of mind. Uh, it's going to help you with your mental health, and it's going to lead you uh, to a new life, something new in your life, something different, uh, big time. So yeah, uh, retreat when you need to. You know, if it if it feels too heavy, don't push yourself past that because then that's going to strike you down so hard that you may never stop, you know, retreating and refocusing. Because right now you don't need to isolate that much because you also need to speak your truth and power up because something is green lit. Whatever you want to do is green lit. Uh, and then you need, you know, if you, if you let this, if you don't, if you don't back off sometimes, then you're going to have this on top of it, the betrayal. So you're going to burn yourself out and then somebody's going to betray you or you're betraying somebody else. It's, either way, it's going to cause an issue. And then you're going to be dealing with this and that because you didn't take time out to heal. Um, and then at the end of the week, yeah, some kind of travel. Some kind of travel. Uh, either someplace or somewhere or to something different. Uh, but either way, you need to do it for your peace of mind and, and uh, go into something new in life, you know. Uh, so, yeah, definitely speak your truth this week. Don't over isolate, but take time out. So let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? And that card is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so in the Six of Pentacles, the man's giving bread away and whatnot. But the thing is, is that he's weighing it out. He's scaling it. Uh, he's not giving it away for free. He expects something in the end. And uh, you need to make sure that you're not doing this. Or this could be um, whoever this betrayal is. It could be this person. And maybe they've been feeding you breadcrumbs and expecting a lot more from you than... than what is you know uh right for whatever they done for you so that might be what the betrayal is perhaps they did something for you and acted like oh no 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 don't worry you ain't gotta pay me back but now they've decided no you're gonna pay me back for this you know now they're all like remember that one time or whatever that's what the betrayal is i think is that somebody gave you breadcrumbs, gave you something, helped you in some sort of way, and acted like they didn't want nothing back for it. And now they're saying, nope, I want something. And I want something bigger than what I gave you. And they might even add up uh, things that they've done. Like add it up, you know, to make it even a higher, bigger thing, you know, that you des they, de they deserve from you. Uh, so I think that's what's going to lead to this breakup. So... Uh, the person you're looking for is somebody that has given to you or helped you and acted as if they didn't want nothing back, but in the end, they want more back than what it's worth. Well, I hope this resonated with you, and if it did, hit that like button, and if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next week, and until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.